Welcome, welcome, welcome. It has been a while since I graced you with some cool ass pals. And today I have a big one. A really nice one. Noklum, or as I call him, Kokum Dimnuts, is a very special pal in this new Sakurajima update. So basically, Steel Guardian Mode. When activated, a Steel Resolve increases Noklum's attack and defense. And when it comes to, like, the passive skills, I just want to clarify something. This is not the best Noklum. Not because it's not the highest damage, it is the highest damage. However, there are two new passive skills with Sakurajima update that may be more effective than damage buffs. And those are Sonority and Impatient. Because they reduce the cooldowns on active skills. Meaning more attacks. So yeah, this video is mostly just to see how powerful a single combo is. And it can be more effective sometimes if you want just like burst damage to finish off something with one combo. Like most alpha pals. However, when it comes to like tower bosses, raid bosses, you're probably better off with snerty and impatient to throw more attacks in 10 minutes. Because holy shit, if you've seen my video about finishing off the new tower boss, some of my pals just don't attack. <laughs> and yeah, what's the point of more damage if they're not gonna attack in the first place? Also, I got Dark Wisp on this pal because uh, the combinations I made in order to create this pal was... So basically, I bred Anubis with Hilzefer in order to make Ragnarok with Earth Emperor. Because Earth Emperor gives 20% to Earth attacks. Which, by the way, Noclum is an Earth pal. And then I bred Ragnarok with Astigon, like a perfect Astigon, in order to make the perfect... Cook him dim nuts. And by the way, if you want to know how I made this Astigon, I already made a video. I'm gonna link it in the description because there are like several steps you have to do. But yeah, there are many ways to get the perfect cook him dim nuts. It doesn't need to be this exact way. And yep, let's uh, let's try it on some pals. All right then, let's try it. Wait, do I have? Okay, it's already there. Come here, boy. <gasps> it's actually asleep. Okay, come on, it's active. Alright, alright. And by the way, just to let you know, he's actually 5700 right now. Almost 5800. So yeah, by the way, with Sonority and Impatient, he would probably be attacking right now. But he already did like, one combo. And the overall, like, it's a good pal, I still think Belenoir is better. And mostly because her attacks are just in base damage, they're greater than the earth attacks of Noclem. Like her beam attack and stuff is just too overpowered for the game. And yeah, by the way, by now Belenoir would already have killed Frostalion, by the way. His attacks are kinda awkward, like, sometimes they can't even hit in the first place. <laughs> like you saw that, that barely hit Frostalion. And this is like one of the stronger attacks. Like 160 and 60 seconds. That's insane, by the way. Yeah, his attacks like the base damage is just not good enough. Oh, he actually killed him with the twister. Nice. So yeah, this spell is great, but I think there are other greater options. Even though he has like fucking 5800 almost attack compared to Belenoir with 3800. Noclem reminds me of Necromus because he has like the highest base attack but the attacks themselves don't do much damage and his like main powerful attack does very good damage but is really hard to land on bosses so yeah i give noclem a good seven and a half out of ten ten being belenoir by the way <laughs> so yeah that's about it